Time for another quick review, this time Revenge of the Fallen Ravage. And as it's a black figure, I've even put the light on so you can see it. Ain't I kind and considerate? But as you can see, Ravage is a missile, a very beautifully sculpted missile, but all he does is get fired out of Soundwave. So let's put that to the side and get to the actual Ravage figure. Here is his re-entry mode. It's as pathetic as it looks. Yeah. You don't get this figure for its re-entry mode. You get it for its cat mode. Because the re-entry mode, as you can see, is rubbish. I mean, okay. The thigh leg locks into the wing support, but that's it. Oh, and you can have these things down here to be engine boosters if you like. Yeah, moving on. Here is Ravage in his robot mode, or his cat mode if you prefer. Which fortunately is the version he's packaged in in the box, so he actually looks pretty sweet when you buy him. This is a pretty it's a neutral pose, I've got him in at the minute just to show him off but uh, feature wise he's got his little guns here just like his D1 version which can pivot all the way all different ways but they can't go out they stay locking, looking forwards yeah, these are soft rubbery spikes so you won't poke your eye out his feet, his leg feet, legs, whatever you want to call them. You've got a hinge here, so they can hinge there, and he's got his hinge there, and these legs, feet go in and out like that, and his even pivot in and out like that, and here, his front legs, they can go forwards and backwards like that, and they pivot out like that, and they do all, the, ooh, he can even break his arm and go backwards. I'll go forward and close his claws and open his claws and be all cat like. And he has a full 360 waist rotation. He's got pipe lighting for his one little optic eye. Oh, isn't he just cute? Isn't he the cutest cat you've ever seen? Or he's the cutest metallic cat you've ever seen. And if you don't agree, watch the film. Watch Revenge of the Fallen, then say Ravage isn't the cutest little cat you've ever seen. He even goes off for a little swim at one point. It's cute. It's very cute. His tail only goes that high, but it does have a joint in the middle, which goes like that, and these barbs at the end are on a ball joint, so they have a bit of sideways rotation and they can do all the ups and the downs and this grey one can flick out like that for stabbing if he wants but the film has it like that so I keep it like that for cat mode and you can get some pretty decent uh, in fact I say pretty decent you can get some damn awesome poses out of this figure it is sweet You've got one little Decepticon logo there, but as you can see his colour is mostly black. And he has a little feature, this spike here, the big one, you pull it back and he goes, Rah! That's right, he goes, Rah! Voice effects not included. But his head goes forwards, his mouth opens, and his little ears tuck back. Which means you can get him in some really cool striking poses as well, because it stays out. 
You don't have to keep it held back either. Oh, I love this cat. My favourite cat in the whole wide world. Even better than the G1. Love it, this guy. Oh, he's just so cute! And speaking of G1 Ravage, here's a side comparison of them because, well, let's face it, you may as well compare the two size wise. Yeah, you see, you see, this Ravage, G1 Ravage, he's all skin and bones. No posability, no cuteness. Actually, yep. The new Ravage can eat the old Ravage's face. And no Ravage review would be complete without showing him beside his master, Soundwave. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong Soundwave. Beside his master, Soundwave. Yeah, don't they just make a cute couple? No, that's wrong. Doesn't he look cute with his pet? But who's a pet? The Ravage of the Soundwave. Ha 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 ha! You What's new, Pussycat? Yes, I do. You and your pussycat eyes.